Hey everyone, it's me again. Anywho, have you got the opportunity to watch the very first video of the day? If not, smash that bell. And of course, you will definitely will get a notification from you to endure my viewers. I'll discuss my social media accounts when this video is completely over. Now once again, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some to eat, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Once again, there will be a link. You know why? You could just read it, or just listen to the podcast down below. Okay, now probably a lot of you are tired of me discussing about many roles. Sorry. Okay, on a recent edition of the Boston Open Radio Podcast, the former NXT Women's Champion, Manny Rose, recalled some advice she received from Vince McMahon toward the end of her run of the main roster. Now, speaking of Manny Rose, before I go any further, does anyone still miss Manny Rose? Yes or no? Okay, now let me continue on. The summer 14th of last year, Rose was released from her contract due to fan time contact, you know, adult videos and other stuff, after a seven-year run with the WWE. Now, let me continue this. If this was the Add to Era, I guaranteed she would still be with the company. But this is things had changed over the years, so this company does not allow it. So she got fired. And plus, she's making what three times as much what she did in WWE. So there's no reason to go back. There's no reason, in my opinion. And in this interview, I'll give you a little sneak peek, peek, sorry, that she has no desire of going back at the moment. She don't have that urge. So I guess maybe she's telling the truth or maybe she's not telling the truth of her having desire again. Maybe something is going to happen in 2024 for her of returning to wrestling. I don't know if she will return to this company or maybe another wrestling company will scoop her up and all that good stuff. You know, it all comes down to money and w w what can I offer her, you know? You know, she had a great run in NXT. Now, if she never did these kind of things, if if no one did not rat on her, I guarantee you she'll still be with this company. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Now, Fun fact, will she ever return to the company? I say it's very, very slim. Maybe with another wrestling company, but did this mess up her image in the wrestling world? You tell me. You tell me. Sorry, I repeat it like a broken record. I'm sorry. So, she's very beautiful, sexy, gorgeous, and she will get, get married in the future. I know she's engaged. And um, and recently she just got OnlyFans. No, I'm not gonna subscribe just because of Manny Rose. Okay. Um, I know a lot of you don't believe me, but it's okay. Whatever. Um, this is just her second calling in the world. You know, I think she did a very good job in NXT. And no, I don't watch NXT when she was there. But she was the hottest woman, you know, her character-wise, in that Mana era. She was very good. Now, when she was on the main roster before they shipped her to NXT, they don't know what to do with her, okay? Look like they want to make her the next Trish Stratus. You know what I'm saying? Her character-wise, with Otis and other stuff, of course, eventually, that failed. It really did, Okay. Now, they ship her to NXT. She's the longest NXT champion in that modern era. She did some other stuff and, you know, 
So she did interviews, and I I was wondering if any the we you know management watch the interview or podcast you know from bust open maybe they do maybe they they didn't and maybe she will never come back because you know it's a pg product so or maybe she will come back you know will you be happy if she does come back in the wrestling world you know she did not really put a lot of, i don't know i can't really put my finger on it but let me know what you think you know do you think there's a slim chance she might come back to the wrestling world? Or do you think she's done done? I mean, she really didn't make up her mind mind in that podcast. So, you know, she didn't say the doors are still open that I could return. Maybe they want to keep it hush hush. How do you feel if she returns in January at the Women's Royal Rumble? You know, because I don't know. Maybe it will happen, maybe not. Have a good one now. Follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. Now, if you want to be part of the Robert Show, that's fine. Again, if not, don't worry about it. See you guys tomorrow's edition. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Later.